is Kathy Wernberg, and I'm here at the Habitat Restore. Going to show you a couple projects that are simple and most people can make. I'll just go through them kind of quickly, and I think you'll have, um, enjoy making them. I love taking old things, old junk, throwaway stuff, and making something cool out of it. Like this cute little dragonfly is one of them. And I'll show you just how to do it. You just take two fan, four fan blades and a spindle and you um, paint them. You uh, paint them. I found the best way to paint them is with spray, spray paint because they're not real wood and they take forever to dry between the layers. When I use the first ones I made, I do with house paint, but I believe the easiest way to do it is spray paint. So spray paint your four dragon, your, lead, your wings, whatever color you want them to be. Spray paint your spindle and then we're ready to go. You'll need a drill bit um, and your bit should be a little bit smaller than the size screws you have. You need a drill bit, some paint, uh, brushes. I am going to do it very easily today with a foam stencil brush and um, the dots on the spindle or on the body part you do with a paintbrush at the other end. And um, that's pretty much all you need. A um, you need a, if you're gonna get a drill there, you might as well have a bit for the screws you have too. You need to make sure that your screws are not too long. That'll go through all of your wood. And otherwise you'll, they'll be sticking out the other side. So I'm working on a piece of foam here so it's not scratching everything. Uh, the first thing you're gonna do is put one screw, you need, you need two screws per, um, per set of wings so they don't move. But the first one you do is that where you're gonna put it in the angle you want. Um, I, I made them, a little bit tipped up. Um, dragon wings, I'm pretty sure, dragonfly wings are just straight across, but I thought it looked a little bit better. So you put your first, you put your first ones in, and then you'll adjust it by pulling where you want, and then you put your second one in, that's what locks it in place. So we'll try that. You put your first ones in, you drill through both of them at the same time, go through with both, and then change out your bit. If you're lucky enough to have a workshop with two of everything, that's great. And I have, usually I have a drill, the bit in one, and uh, for, for making the holes, and the screwdriver in the other. So it's just easier that way. Okay, so when you're doing it, you wanna hold it in place, go down with your drill bit and up, and then put your, um, Put your screw in right away in the same spot so it doesn't move. And this is not as easy as I thought because of course I've already made this one. So I'm kind of cheating. And I'm just gonna put it back together. But this is harder than you think to find the hole again, I'm sorry. Let's see. Well. Let me get it all the way through. I should have taken it apart. Oh darn, I'm sorry. Trying to find the hole is worse than making the hole in the first place. I'm, gonna do, I'm not gonna do that again. There it is. Okay, I'm gonna show this one up close like this. Okay, now you just, after you get the first one in, you adjust your wings how you like them. I must not be in the right hole. Okay, you adjust them how you like them. Okay, and the second one. Let's see. Then you do the same thing with the second one. Put them back in. This doesn't work as well as I thought it was going to work to put it back together. Okay. Make your hole. Oops. Of course I did that. Okay. 
for demonstrations. I should have brought both of my drills. Bend me over. Put your screw. I think my screws are an inch and five eighths. Okay. And then for this um, hanger, I just take that top screw back out again. I just made a piece of wire, twisted it around, put a little hole to put the screw back in. Take it out. And over the years, we've used different things, but finally we decided to put a washer, screw, washer, then the hanger, and it just kind of holds it in place then. Okay. Then you turn it over. When, you're, when you have it, you can turn it over, kind of adjust your wings the way you'd like them. Then you do the same thing with the bottom wings, adjusting them the way you like them. Okay. Then I use just two big beads. I happen to have a variety of wooden beads. I'm sure you could use other, other things. And I had to have a little bit longer screw this time because the bead is so tall. There again, pre-drill the hole. Pre-drilling it with a drill bit makes it stop splitting. And I um, have done enough projects over the years that believe me, I've tried it without pre-drilling it and it splits the wood, it splits something. So my husband keeps telling me, put the drill bit in first, use the drill first. Okay, so that's the eyes. When I first started making these, I put little wire on the back for an antenna and my husband said, oh, dragonflies don't have them, antenna, and they do not. But if you want to, you can do it because I think it's kind of cute with it, but um, I don't do it all the time. Now painting. I am not a very good painter. I, I, am, I can paint, but I, I, so I'm just gonna cheat and use this cute little um, sponge circle. And I'm gonna put, I love the polka dots with it. So I'm gonna show you that one today. Um, when you sponge something, you take it. Oh, put that up on your cushion so they can see. Yep. And they, um, sponge it off, take, it's, uh, that's way too much paint when you're sponging something. So you're gonna dab it off. A little bit on your on a paper towel and you just start painting and I like to have some off and some whole depending how I'm gonna do it and you don't do not have to keep putting it in do I hold it up a little bit you do not have to keep putting it back in the paint because I like it when it's not all the same color And sometimes I twirl it, depending on what you're doing. But now I will refinish, um, add some more to it. Sometimes you might want it further apart, closer together, not sure. But you, depending on what you like to do. All right, now you're gonna continue on and do all four blades that way, or Maybe you'll do two different designs. I'm not, maybe you're more, more creative than I am when it comes to that. Um, for your spindles, for dots, or for any kind of a project, the bottom of a paintbrush is what's really good. So here again, you just put the paintbrush, you know, and put it in a little cover, whatever you want, and then just start painting it. You see, I'm gonna come. And you do not have to refill it every time. And the size dot you want will depend on the size paintbrush handle you have. You may be, have another idea, you may be an artist that you will have different ones. We'll show you in a second here some different ideas of people that have come to our workshops before that have done fabulous work on their dragonflies, on the wings. Some people even put stripes on the bodies. You can do that if you want. I'll show these. I spray painted the spindles too, to make it faster. You could paint them with house paint if you wanted to. They would dry better. But she's gonna, Jeanette's gonna show you some ideas of people in the past, what they've done. Here's a fan blade that actually had like wicker in them too, so they make kind of a little texture, a little depth through them. Okay. 
someone was really creative with these. That one, that one, yeah, she's an artist. This one is um, splatter painted, basically. Um, yeah, and look at that. We get all sorts of people that come to our workshops and they uh, do really amazing things. So here they traded up their blades, so they have two wicker ones and then just a regular set of fan blades um, that they did a couple different designs on. There's some more. Um, here on, oops, sorry. This one, they actually left the um, attachment to the fan blades on um, and attached those to the spindle itself. Um, so these were made at our workshop too. And um, but here's just some, you know, you could do lines, you could do curves, curlicues, just circles instead of just the full dots, what Kathy's doing. Uh, there's some more different ideas. And if you really, I know there's a lot of people out there that are so creative, you could do all sorts of um, you know, filling in your uh, fan blades like those petals. And then, well, we've made those stars too at a different workshop, but... Flowers. Flowers, sorry. <laughs> yeah, oh, it doesn't matter, I guess, stars. Okay. I was just going to finish painting them, but... Don't, um... I'm going to finish painting this, but as she, she showed you, this is the finished product. So it's very, very, um, pretty easy. So again, just go to your local uh, resort, buy fan blades, four fan blades, a spindle. You might even have this around your house. So remember, two um, screws have to lock it in place so it doesn't move. If you only had one screw in each set of fan blades, it would move all the time on you. Some okay. kind of a hook. You may even have a better idea for that. Let's see if we can get a little closer on that. And then something for eyes. I just happen to have wooden beads and paint it however you like. And there you go. When I hung mine on my house, I I put um, used a hook on the back and then I put uh, a nail on the wall and house just so it stayed this direction. That's what I wanted to do. So there you go. So go to your local restore and see what kind of cool junk you can pick up and create into something else. Pinterest has lots of great ideas for you. Thanks and have a good day.